What's good, YouTube? Bats back in here with another Spider Man Origins vid. So, in this vid, we're going to be going over Spider Man Future Foundation suit. So, if you like Spider Man as much as I do, and like Spider Man Origins, and want to learn something new about Spider Man and his origins, be sure to like the video. And if you want to see some more Spider Man Origins vids in the future, and also some future vids on different games on my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to turn on push notifications. And also, don't forget to check out the Spider Man Origins playlist if you want to learn some more Spider Man Origins. Anyways, let's go on to the vid. Alright, so this spider suit appeared in Future Foundation issue 1 to 2011 series. So, after Johnny Storm sacrificed himself and died, he had Last Will and Testament. In that Testament, he wanted Spider-Man to join the Future Foundation. Spider-Man agreed to join in memory and to honor Johnny's request. As part of the Future Foundation, Spider-Man acquired this suit to represent the Future Foundation, which included Reed Richards, Mr. Fantastic, Sue Storm, Invisible Woman, and Ben Grimm, The Thing. Since they all have, since they all had the same color scheme. All right, since that's out of the way, let's move on to the feature of the suit. So the suit is made out of unstable molecules, which means Peter can change the costume's appearance with just his thoughts. It's similar to the Iron Spider suit, which means like in other words, he could change to his red and blue suit, the symbiote suit, or even uh, his civilian clothes. Not like the exact suits, like the symbiote suit, for example, but like the same appearance as the symbiote suit. And also, he has a stealth mode, which means the suit is mostly black with a white spider symbol. So just think of the suit like right now. Instead, like for example, like the the white pattern on the suit is instead of the white pattern is black instead, and the black spider is white spider instead. And even after Johnny Storm came back to life, it is shown in some comics, like in like um for example, all new all different Spider Man, for example, if you remember that comic. So it is shown that when Peter owned Parker Industries. You can see the suit in like one of the comic panels, so it is shown that he still has it under his wardrobe. I don't know about now, but it is shown that he still had the suit afterwards, even after Johnny came back to life. Alright, so that's going to be it for this origin vid. So if you like Spider-Man, and you like this origin vid, and you learned something new, and also if you like saving time on researching this specific Spider-Man's origin, you should like the video. And if you want to see some more origin vids in the future, and possibly some character origin vids in the future on different characters, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget to turn on push notifications. And if you want to see some more origin vids, be sure to check out my Spider-Man origin vids series playlist down in the description. And alright, that's out. Peace.